Hello everybody, it's the War Hipster here, coming at you with another Contrast Plus painting tutorial, and we are returning to the 41st millennium, and we have Astaroth the Grim, the brand new, well, reboot of the character, uh, rendered in a glorious plastic sculpt. It's an absolutely lovely new model. It looks amazing, and uh, well, we're going to be painting it up today, courtesy of Games Workshop, who sent me this one early as part of the new Blood Angels army set. So a massive thank you to them for that. And, well, it's time to jump in and start painting. Astrath has been primed in Grey Seer. And the colour we're going to be using first is Flesh Terrors Red. And we're going to be applying this over the top of all of the, well, all of the top of the armour. Now, he's got this kind of flayed skin armour type thing going on, so it's actually quite easy to point out where it's going to be. What we're looking for is essentially anything that isn't trim. All over the armor, and of course, the wings as well. They're not going to be the same red. Now you might be thinking, well, hold on, Flesh Terror's red, that's a little bit dark for a Blood Angel. Well, Astaroth has got darker armor than the rest of his brothers, so Flesh Terror's red is perfect for this. And, well, this is probably one of the best Space Marines to paint with contrast paint, just because there are so many recess details on here so we're just going to go around picking out all of these areas like this and then once that's all done we'll come back With all of that flesh terror is red applied all the way around, as you can see, what we're now going to do is we're going to shade all of that flesh terror is red using some Caraberg Crimson. We're just going to apply this over the top. Just like this. I mean, the reason we're doing this now is just to kind of lock in the flavor, but also because it's such a large color on the model. We don't want to kind of come back to doing it later once we've done a bunch of the other colors because it runs the risk of applying accidentally over the top of other details. And whilst we're applying all of that shade, it's a good time to tell you about our sponsor. This video is sponsored by Serious Readers. I love these HD lights from Serious Readers and I'm excited to tell you about them once more because these things are top tier. Seriously. The HD lights utilize proprietary daylight wavelength technology which replicates the daylight spectrum as closely as technically possible which makes a big difference on your eyes and your eye health. They come in floor sized packages and table sized lights, but you can also select the Gemini option which gives you not one but two light engines on separate flexible arms giving you optimal coverage of your painting space or a light source to share with someone else. People who see together, hobby together. That's the saying, right? They're hand-built right here in the UK in their factory in Aylesbury, whilst pioneering research into improving sight through shedding better light, relying on replicating the natural daylight spectrum that our eyes have evolved to use. They offer a five-year warranty and are recommended by over 500 independent opticians. They've got excellent customer service too, as when I asked for a colder bulb, they sent me one, along with a diffuser. Check out Serious Readers today, and if you pick one up and use offer code JOSH24, you can get £100 off high-definition lights and free UK delivery. Check out the links below. And now, throughout July and August 2024, you can win a HD light by checking out the competition link in the description. This competition is only open to UK residents and terms and conditions apply. Check it out, and good luck. So with that Caraberg Crimson all applied, what we're now going to do is going to take our other major colour here, and that is going to be some Black Legion. 
And we're going to apply this over the top of the wings. We're going to also apply this over the top of the joints in the armor. And his hair. And his belt. There's a lot of black on Astaroth. So with all that Black Legion applied, just like before with the Carabao Crimson, we're going to take some Null Oil and we're going to use this to shade the black. So with that all done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Skeleton Horde and we're going to apply this over the top of all of the bones and the parchment. And start just here on the knee. And work our way around. So with that then done, we're going to take some Pox Walker and we're going to apply this over top of Astaroth's mask. And with that now done, we're going to take some Volupus Pink and we're going to apply this over the top of this little wax seal. And with that then done, we're going to take some Frost Heart. And we're going to apply this over top of the Axe Blade. And so with that now done, we're going to take some thinned down Retributor armor and we're going to apply this over top of all the trim and jewels across all the armor. And so with that then done, I'm going to take some thinned down Iron Warriors. And we're going to apply this over the top of all of the remaining details. Thank you. 
So with that all done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Achillean green and we're going to do a little bit of blending up here on the axe. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to take the Achillean green on our brush and we're basically going to apply this over the top of the entirety of the axe blade. So we're just going to like this. Get this all over. Just like that. Then we're going to wash the brush, touch off the water, and then in the top corner up here, we're just going to feather the paint off. Just like that. So with that Achillean green all applied, we're then going to take a roughly one-to-one -one mix of contrast medium and Leviathan blue. And we're going to apply this towards the bottom of the axe, down here, like so. Then we're going to wash the brush, touch off the water, and then we're going to blend it into the rest of the axe. So with that all done to the axe, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Gilliman flesh and we're going to use this to shade all the gold. And so with that then done, we're going to take some Nuln Oil once again. And we're going to use this to shade the little bits of silver here and there. And for our final shade, we're going to take some Agrax Earth Shade and we're going to apply this over top of any of the bones. So this is going to be all the kind of skulls and stuff set into the armor and also the handle of the axe. So with that all done, Astarath is now what I would call a war hipster battle ready. And he's looking pretty cool. However, we're not going to leave him there. Of course not. We're going to take him to the next level. I'm going to do this by adding some highlights. Now, the first of these is going to be some thinned down Dark Reaper. And we're going to use this to highlight just the wings. And so with all that Dark Reaper applied, we're then going to take some thinned down Rust Grey. I'm going to use this to add some little spot highlights towards the sharpest points of the wings.
So with that all done, we're now going to take some thinned down Dawnstone. I'm going to use this to highlight all the other black details around the model. So this is the belt, the joints, and the hair. And with all that Dawnstone applied, we're then going to take a tiny amount of Administratum Grey. I'm going to apply this to the sharpest points in all these remaining black details. Just like that sort of thing. So with that all done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some thinned down Wazdaka Red. I'm going to use this to highlight all of the red. So with that Wazdaka red all applied, we're then going to take some thinned down Cadian flesh tone. I'm going to use this to add a little spot highlight to all the red. So we're looking to pick out little kind of corners and things. But on all of the lines, we also want to add just a little tiny highlight as well. And a really good kind of source for checking where these should go is the product photography because you can see these little areas of shine all over. So with that all done, the red should be looking absolutely fantastic now. So what we're going to do is do the same thing to the gold. I'm going to start by taking some thinned down Retributor armor. I'm going to use this to relay just a couple of little places. So we've got the leg bits here. And we want to relay. Like that sort of thing. Got the bit up the middle, but you just want to avoid that recess on either side, like so. We've got the shoulders, not shoulders, these are elbows. Like that. We've also got the kind of flat rim like that of the shoulders and anywhere else that's kind of wide open. So the choice is yours. You can do as much or as little of this as you like. And then once that's done, we'll come back. So with that all done, we're then going to take a roughly two parts Stormhost Silver to one part Retributor Armor Mix. I'm going to use this to highlight all of the gold. So with that all done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some thinned down Deepkin Flesh. I'm going to use this to relayer the mask. I want this to be nice and bright.
So with that deepkin flesh applied, the mask isn't finished yet, but we're going to come back to it in just a minute. But before we do that, what we're going to do is we're going to take some thin down screaming skull. And we're going to use this to highlight the parchment and the bones. With all that screaming skull applied, we're then going to take a small amount of full grim pink and use this to highlight the wax seal. So with that all done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some thinned down Lothern Blue. And we're going to use this to highlight the axe blade. Like that sort of thing. However, what we're also going to do with the Lothern Blue is going to use this to draw some very small little lightning over the flat of the blade. And with that Lothern blue all applied, we're then going to take some Baharoth blue. And we're going to use this to do another highlight over the top of the Lothern blue. Now we're not going to do all of it. We're going to do about a two thirds, I would say. Just like that. like that and then similarly on the power nodes I'm going to pick out the nodules and then just a small amount of the actual cabling like so and then over the top of our lightning as well we want to add just little mounts of the Baharoth blue. Here and there. And so with that Baharoth blue applied, we're then going to take some thin down white scar. And we're going to apply this as a kind of little spot highlight to the sharpest points on the axe and in the lightning. So we're going to go for this corner here, that corner there, a little large. Just use my thumb to wipe that off. Did it again. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. And bring it down here just a little bit and across there like that. 
We're also going to use a very small amount of this on the power node. Like so. And then in the lightning, the best thing to do is to look to wherever these forks intersect with each other or with the structure of the blade. However, the other thing we're going to do with the white scar is we're going to use this to highlight Astaroth's mask. So that all done, the axe is now finished. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some thinned down iron breaker. I'm gonna use this to highlight all of the silver details. So with that all done, we've just got the last couple of things left to do. One of which is to take some Blood Angels Red. I'm going to apply this over top of any gems. And with all that Blood Angels Red applied, we're then going to take a tiny amount of Ard Coat. I'm going to apply this over the top of it. So with all those gems now done, we're going to take a tiny amount of Saigor Brown. I'm going to use this over the top as a little bit of text on our parchment. Just drawing these small little squiggly lines. And so with Astaroth's base now complete in the same style as the rest of my Blood Angels, which you can see here on the channel with the Nuclear Wasteland bases, he's now finished and ready to go to lead some new Death Company jump back intercessors, which I haven't done yet. <laughs> and I'm not sure if I will for a while, but there we go. He's a really cool model. He looks awesome. He's, you know, big and beautiful. If you enjoyed this video, you love the channel, and you'd like to support me further, you absolutely can do so by heading to patreon.com forward slash warhipster, just like all of these wonderful, amazing people have done. And alternatively, you could become a YouTube channel member by clicking on the join button below, exactly like these fabulous folks have done scrolling up on the screen before you. There are so many of you out there that it really takes my breath away and I cannot thank you enough for everything you do as without you I wouldn't be able to keep making these contrast plus videos. And if you really like this video and you want to send me a little thanks just click on the thanks button just below this video. Don't forget to share it, like it, comment on it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and to make sure you stay up to date don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Happy Wargaming.